On one of my recent videos, I got a comment asking me to do a thumbnail tutorial. I tore in my dude, your wish is my command. Though a blurry background may seem like a challenge, it's actually super easy, so let me show you how I do it. Now, I use the program paint.net because it's free and it works well for me, so use that and open it up. Next, I'm going to find a point in my video that I just finished rendering where I, video, I got where I want a lot of action or want it to be the focal point of uh, the thumbnail. So there's some fighting that goes in here. I think around this point is where I wanted it to happen. So I'm just going to watch through. I want one with this diamond armor here. Probably going to be. Who is that a good spot? That looks like a pretty good one. I'm just going to go see if I can get another like clearer point. Just like going frame by frame. You know what? I guess that'll have to work. So I'm going to go ahead and click to clear the screen. Now I use a program called Lightshot and it's easily captures the screen at this moment. So I just press a button. I can click and drag the whole screen and then copy it. So I bring this into paint.net. I just press control V and it should pop up, expand the canvas. Awesome. And now we have a full screenshot of that moment. Now the next step is pretty tedious. So let me explain how it works. We're going to go ahead and use the last so select tool. And this allows us to select anything we want um, so that we can just cut out this person. Now it's important to know that throughout this whole thing, I'm going to be pressing the control button and that's going to allow me to do different selections. If I just selected more areas without pressing control, I'm going to lose all the selections that I've done. So it's important to keep that in mind. Now I can just go ahead, go through all of this stuff, not being too tedious with the selection. And I'll explain that later, but you want to go around everywhere, just selecting this main body first, um, and we'll go around the entire body. Now I like having the blood and all the stars in the thumbnail because what we're going to do is blend or blur everything that's not the selection so that the foreground really stands out. So I have a pretty good selection there, but I'm going to go ahead and add in the other things like this star and then all of this blood all while I'm pressing the control button. Now the last thing I want to do is the sort. Oh, that was terrible. Control and Z. You can just fix the last one that you selected. Get the sword in here. Okay. That's pretty much done. I mean, like I said, it's pretty messy, but that's not going to matter. What we want to do is copy this, add a new layer and then paste it up here so you can see that we have a background separated from the foreground uh, and that leads us into the next step so select the background layer go to effects go to blur radial blur and then you can see we have a little crosshair here so you're going to want to move that where the actions all happening so I'll move it just a little bit to the left and now we have a blurred background with the focus being put on this person and pretty much that's a good thumbnail right there but what I want to do is come in here, press adjustments, go to the hue and saturation, and then just bump up the saturation a little bit. Just makes it pop a little bit more. The last step is to save as you're going to want to change this to PNG and then just save away. And pretty much that's all I do. So if you follow those directions, you should be able to make a pretty sick thumbnail just like this. That's attention grabbing, the focus is put on PVP, and hopefully it'll get you some clicks. Now, if you do use this method, let me know and I'll check it out. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.